So I'm in Walmart to show you how I actually just go around looking for things that are out of place and look different and that's how I find a lot of these clearance deals. I was looking for cat food and there's more than one of each of these kinds of cat food. But this one was just sitting here and it's different. It looks different. It has a sticker uh, coupon on it. The color's different, the flavor's different. So I scanned it and this one's only $4.50. All of these other 32 packs are $16.64. So I'm gonna take this one and it's only gonna be $2.50 for 32 cans of cat food. Let's go see what else we can find that's cheap. And a lot of Walmart stores do not like it when people video, so I'm trying to be a little discreet about this. I did see on Facebook that there are some school supplies. Super cheap. I want to see if we can find any. What I'm looking for are the pen and gear one subject notebooks. There's one right here. Look at that, 25 cents. They were 88 cents. This is perfect for school. And they have more over here. Someone just moved them. So these are only gonna be 25 cents and they have both wide ruled and college ruled. Here we go. There's another pack of them and the sticker says just 25 cents. And these look. I just got back from the Dollar Tree and these were a dollar. And this is the ones that you will need for your kids' school. 50 cents. So people keep asking, well, you must have someone telling you about this. You must have a source. I don't. I just take my time, go through the aisles. I look on Facebook. There's more of those. And you can always, if you think, like right there, it looks like there's just one left. But if you look up, Look at all these boxes full of notebooks. I don't have someone telling me. I do look in Facebook for deals, clearance deals in different stores. And I also just come shopping and see what I can find. Let's go and see what else is on sale. And by the way, right now it is July 17th. So, if you start looking at summer things, they are probably going to be on sale because summer's coming to an end and they're going to start putting their fall items out. I just spotted another clearance deal. And somebody stopped right in front of it. Let me go around. Okay, so there was a sticker on the end cap, or not a sticker, but a sign that said clearance for these life jackets on here, but look at all those clearance stickers. Don't just look in your clearance aisle for stuff. I'll show you in a second. Our clearance aisle is pretty uh, empty right now, but look. Life jackets are only five dollars, and they were nine ninety four. These puddle jumpers, some of them are seven dollars, like this one. And then the these are seven dollars, and these are eleven. Well, no, not that brand. That swim school is not, but the these right here, puddle jumper brands are only eleven dollars, and they were seventeen eighty four, which means in about a week they're going to be even cheaper. They have Minnie Mouse ones for $11. They were $17.44. Avengers. They have just plain adult ones for $5. So don't just go to your clearance aisle and get disappointed if you don't find anything. Look at all these summer gangs. And some of them don't have super great discounts. Like that was $9.96, not $7 for me. I'm not going to buy that. But within a week or so, they'll start going down even more if they don't sell at this price. Baseball and softball gloves as low as $5, $7, $4. 
this is what I mean by going through the entire store because you never know what you're gonna find. Pretty soon, kids are going to be signing up. The year go by, goes by super fast and they're gonna be wanting to play ball again. So if you can save some money on this equipment and save it for the next season, why not? Baseballs for, I think these are the, oh, those are good baseballs. They're not the soft, I thought they were the squishy ones, but those are real baseballs. $2.50 for this pack of them. 12, 12 baseballs. And that's kind of crazy because just for one baseball, it is $3.97. But for a 12 pack, you can get them for two dollars and fifty cents. That is awesome. That's kind of even hard to believe. I kind of want to buy these just to see if I could sell them on eBay. And always double check this stuff because it might say that it costs five dollars, three dollars, but when you scan it, it rings up for a dollar, or it could be in the wrong location. And it could be a lot more. So always use the Walmart app to scan those kinds of things. Okay, here's the end cap I was talking about. And that's what led me to go down that aisle. And there's some random clearance stickers here in these toys. Whatever was here went down to $7 and it was $9.88. These Legos were $12, now they're 9 And they're just in the regular toy aisle. This one was $29.97, now it's $21. Was $17.97, now it's $13. So you have to just keep looking in your regular aisles and you'll see things that are on sale. And here's the clearance aisle, but there's an employee over there, so I don't really want to go all the way. I'm just going to walk by it. No, there's lots of them though. Okay, and here is the other shot of the clearance aisle. And it has summer toys. This is not where they were before. So, they will probably end up going to clearance as well. They just went ahead and moved it over here. There's pool floats. All of this summer stuff is going to be super cheap soon. Here are some randomly placed toys over in the garden center. So guess what? These are clearance toys. And I bet you nobody has really looked at them. They're just over here in a weird place. Those boxy girls, it says $19.94, but I'm pretty sure that they're only $10. Because I had checked one in a different store, but like I said, it might not be the same here. So I'm just thinking it might be. I'll check it with my phone. Can't do it right now though, because I'm using the phone for the video. This little chair is only $21. This big sunny day was $49.97 and now it says $35. And this is the garden now. See? But this section is really empty right now, so I'm thinking that they might be putting more clearance over here. Here's more clearance stuff. And this is garden um, materials. And you know, I did see on Facebook as well that there is a bag of um, Miracle Grow garden soil that was $8 and now it's $5. I'll see if I can find that. I see another clearance thing right there. Okay, leaving clearance because there's a ton of employees there, but coming over here to these toys, they're even going down. It's only a dollar difference, but that means that sooner or later, it'll be super cheap. This was $56, now it's $40. This tablet was $99, now it's $74. Bunch of toys on clearance. Here's the regular toy aisle, and boom, clearance. This Barbie was 
Now it's five dollars. All kinds of clearance stickers placed in random spots. This one was twelve eighty eight. Now it is nine dollars, and it's right next to the original price one. So take your time and look through it. Here are the boys' toys, and I see a lot more clearance tags. I came to the backpacks and purse aisle just to see if we can find anything on sale since they're setting up a new aisle for all of the uh, new backpacks. Looks like they have a bunch of clothes over there. We'll go check that out in a minute. Okay, here's the clearance deal. They were $12 for umbrellas and now they're 7 These are cute. Mickey and Minnie. Batman. That would be good for your kids to take to school in their backpack. They're tiny, so they can go in their backpack, but it says it has 42 inch coverage, so if they have to ride the bus or anything like that or walk from school, you can get them a tiny little umbrella to keep in their bag. In case it rains. In case it rains, says Sophia. Look, these bags are $15. It was $26.97, I think, or $25.97. And this is good for a gym bag if you have a child that plays sports. Comes with a water bottle. Sit down. This one is big and it's only $5 if you have a girl that likes to take purses instead of backpacks. Her books and everything would fit in there. They have different colors. All this jewelry is on clearance down to $3. They're little anklets. There's this one random bra placed with all the same style but different color and it's only $5. And here's some underwear. They were $12.97 and now they're only $5 for a pack. That's pretty cheap. Comes with five pairs. And here are more clearance underwear in the regular aisle. These over here are regular price. These are marked down to $9. I think it's just that at this time of the year, it's very difficult with all this clearance to move it all to the clearance aisle. So they rather just mark it where it is and hope that someone buys it. Here are the little girl's clothes. Here's the clearance rack. These jeans are only $9. And everyone's going to be needing pants right now. We go back to school. Can't beat $9. There's no shame in buying your kids clothes from Walmart. I do it all the time. Okay, and here's another hint that these things are gonna be on sale. You see all these blank price tags? Well, look at all this clearance. All these t-shirts are clearance. Hold this up, please. That is super cute. And for $3, it was $4.97. That's awesome. Here, will you fold it and put it back the way it goes? All these t-shirts right here. So if you're out school shopping, check in your regular aisles don't just go to the clearance all these are on clearance those are five super cute three dollars for this shirt right here i have to get those for my girls what are y'all doing <laughs> oh my goodness. here's some more clearance clothes short Two dollars, and they were three forty-eight. To me, this is the kind of thing that I would put under a dress. I wouldn't really let them just wear this. They're tiny, but under a dress, it's good. I see another clearance rack of clothes. Over there is the boys and men's. 
But here are some more $3 shirts. Perfection. These are super cute. These are for bigger girls. School shopping doesn't always have to be expensive. And as I'm coming out of the clothing aisle, I see and they rack here in the middle of the aisle or whatever you want to call this little walkway and it has oh wow these tank tops are only 50 cents these are women's tank tops and then there's men's underwear there's so much stuff on clearance right now ribbed tank tops for two dollars leggings shorts okay so this is the regular shoe aisle a lot of the stuff is just regular price and then bam there we go clearance stickers it was 11.88 now it's seven dollars these are regular priced these girls are getting bored oh, hi. Like this one's falling asleep so i think my video is going to be cut short in just a minute here are some boy shoes that are here in the regular aisle. They're sandals. They're five dollars. We're nine ninety four, so that's a good discount. Aha! Another clearance sign. So they still look like they're on clearance. Four ninety eight was the original price, and so I would have to scan these to find out if they really are on clearance. More clothes in the little boys section. Two and three dollars back there. This one's seven. But never trust those signs. They're probably cheaper than that. If they've been there for a while, especially. Okay, here's another blank tag section. So I'm assuming that these... Yep, two dollars. And they were three forty-eight. These are little baby leggings. This is out of place. So there's a good chance that that could be on sale too. A lot of people will place things in random sections because they are hoping that the price will go down and that no one will find it before they get back to get it. We're in the baby aisle now and I have scanned random things and they've come out cheaper than what they really said. Here's some more clothes that are on sale. Five dollars. They just have too much to put in the clearance aisle so they put these in random spots. But I've been walking through different aisles and found random stuff. like this oh I'm gonna take this three dollars for this cozy cover it's for the summertime sun and bugs and I'm having a baby in January so I'll need that next summer all this stuff is on clearance okay well we're gonna have to end this video say bye, bye. I got two getting bored one falling asleep. Bye-bye.